morning, YouTube. Well, looking over my shoulder, you may be able to tell that I wanted to talk a little bit about the solar setup that I'm uh, going to start putting together. I've got two of these uh, panels. They're uh, 24 volt, 180 watts each. So I got 360 watts at 24 volts. And um, I bought them as a set with a few other things here. Um, they came with the uh, cables, the connector cables, to, so I can put them into uh, a, uh, I'm going to do them in parallel, so I'll just have 24 volts coming down. Um, I've got way more cable than I'm going to need because basically I'm going to mount them right above where they're going to go. So it'll come down through the roof and into the charge controller. And I'm sure people are going to tell me, don't trust this thing. Um, this came with this as a set. reason I bought it this way is um, economics. I could buy this with the two panels uh, for not much more than just buying one panel when you include shipping. So shipping was free. I got all this other stuff. Um, I was going to have to buy these things anyway. Um, I'm going to use this this one right now. Uh, if finances uh, allow, I'm going to upgrade this um, probably to a Morningstar. Um, but for right now, I'm not on the road yet or anything. Uh, I'm going to use this. So, uh, all right. So, solar panel through the cables down to the charge controller to the batteries. Um, this is where I could use a suggestion from somebody. These are uh, one by four millimeter squared cables, whatever. Uh, I don't know what, but I'm wondering if that is going to be a good size to just take some of the excess and bring it back from the battery um, or go from the battery to the, the charger or to the controller so but um, coming down this positive is going to go through this circuit breaker coming down so I've got uh, this so this will handle it's a 50 amp breaker um, these are not going to produce that much power I may add a panel um, down the line but right now I just need the two so it's going to come panel breaker to here. That way I can turn off all any of the power coming from the uh, panel. So that I can de-energize that part of the system. Um, from the battery up, um, I'm putting in this switch. It's just basically a kill switch to turn off the power coming from the batteries. So basically between these two switches... I can isolate from the panels down or from the batteries up. Okay, so um, then from here out to the load, I've got this uh, block, the speed block. Um, it's got room for 12 circuits. It's got the uh, you know the grounding bus bar right built right in. Um, each of these will handle up to uh, 30 amps um, and I've got a whole bunch of fuses. Fuses for these are easy to come by so and this would be for the the 12 volt system because this 24 I've got 12 volt batteries uh, it's gonna be a 12 volt system so that's why the MPT MPPT charge controller so it'll take the 24 and uh, turn it into a proper voltage for the uh, batteries and 12 volts coming out. So um, let me show you the batteries I'm going to be using. Uh, so take you inside for that. Okay, so these are the batteries I picked up. Um, I know I'm going to get all kinds of uh, comments about my choice. Um, 
Uh, let me tell you why. Why I chose these. There's a couple of, couple of simple reasons. Uh, one, I've got a buddy who sells batteries. Um, he can get. He got me these at a very, very nice price. So it was hard to uh, argue with that. I'm doing a 12 volt system. Um, when I looked at uh, Trojan batteries um, and a few others, the Trojan batteries being six volt, I'd have to get two. Um, the amp hours that I'd get out of it um, aren't. I'd have it would cost me uh, about the same to get one as it cost me to get these. Um, so when I figure out amp hours per dollar cost. Um, these worked out to be a pretty decent price or good batteries for what I'm what I need um, so just to get an idea part of part of it is let's see um, I can go it's these are SRM 29s so you can look it up if you want um, I didn't worry so much cold cranking amps and all that other stuff what I looked at are hours of amp load um, at 5 amps, um, these are rated at 21.2 hours, and at 15 amps, they're rated at 6.2. So having two batteries, I could be running using 30 amps of power for half a day, um, 12 hours, so or two six-hour days or whatever. Um, I'm not a big power user. Uh, I've got... I'm putting in LED lights, which don't draw much of anything. Um, I do more reading than I do watching TV. I'll have TV. Uh, I will have a... Uh, one thing I, you didn't see was I don't have an inverter yet. Um, definitely going to get one of those. Um, but, but the only kitchen gadget I use is the occasional mixer, but usually I mix everything by hand. Um, or I really want waffles and if I'm going to make waffles, I'm going to be making them when the sun's up. Um, so chances are, and I don't do waffles all the time. I just do them once in a while. I do pancakes just as much. So, um, none of those take much power. Uh, like I said, the TV and my laptop, that's about the biggest two draws I'm going to have. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, if I decide that there's just not, I'm not have, I don't have enough storage, uh, this battery compartment that I built, you saw me build the last video will hold six of these. Um, I've got two, so there's going to be, I've got more, more than enough room in there for, um, these maybe someday down the line, if I can afford it, I'll go with uh, lithium. Um, because I like, I'd rather have lithium. These are sealed batteries, so I'm not that vent I put into the battery compartment probably isn't going to be needed. Um, but it's more that if this gets really hot, I want this because I'm going to seal this battery compartment um, from the the interior of the bus, and I don't want it to build up, you know, a lot of heat inside there. Um, because I know the batteries are going to give off a little bit of heat when they're being charged. Um, it's just nature of the beast. So now I've got to just start putting uh, putting all this stuff together. And I do have... I'm putting in a battery charger. So when I'm plugged into shore power, the battery charger is the only thing that's going to be plugged into the shore power. It'll be uh, set up so it'll be charging the batteries um, whenever I'm plugged in. And then I'm basically the system's still going to be running off the batteries because I don't want to get into a whole uh, when it's plugged in, sensing this and that. And um, again, I don't use that much uh, of the uh, bigger electrical users. So um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, uh, you'll be seeing me putting this stuff together. I've got to run some conduit under the bus. Um, to bring a shore power in from the pa the driver's side and have it on the passenger side where I've got all this set up. So, um, all right, that's it for today. And, uh,
See you later, YouTube.